came three years ago. There are hundreds of unique, inexplicable afflictions. You're declaring the touched a direct threat. HBO's The Nevers has all the components of a sci-fi saga and would fit right into HBO's graphic novel adaptations. I like watching you work. It's like you're conducting. The new sci-fi drama, which begins streaming on HBO Max on April 11, was created by Joss Whedon, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who also wrote the pilot and directed three episodes. A slew of popular TV series based on books, graphic novels, and comics have been adapted for the small screen, and HBO has successfully parlayed the works of George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones, Leanne Moriarty, Big Little Lies, Tom Parada, The Leftovers, and Matt Ruff, Lovecraft Country, into hit shows. Working with source material that already has an established fan base can almost guarantee viewers, giving adaptations an edge over the competition. The Nevers, set in Victorian London, chronicles the adventures of a group of largely female X-Men-like misfits known as the Touched. A strange, unexplained supernatural occurrence in 1896 infuses societal outcasts with an assortment of special abilities. Amelia True, played by Outlander's Laura Donnelly, runs an orphanage for some of these misfits, providing them a sanctuary from those who wish to do them harm. On a larger scale, The Nevers explores how the touch threaten the status quo, striking fear into the hearts of those who usually yield power and use it to oppress others. After The Nevers received a straight-to-series order, Whedon expressed his enthusiasm about the project, via deadline, I honestly couldn't be more excited. The Nevers is maybe the most ambitious narrative I've created, and I can't imagine a better home for it than HBO. Not only are they the masters of cinematic long form, but their instant understanding of my odd, intimate epic was as emotional as it was incisive. It's been too long since I created an entirely new fictional world, and the HBO team offer not just scope and experience, not just prestige, but a passionate collaboration. I could go on, but I'm impatiently grateful to say I have work to do. When the news broke, Whedon was poised to act as showrunner executive producer and a writer for the show, but he abruptly exited what he called his true labor of love in November 2020. <laughs> Well, you've made a mess, little songbird. He cited exhaustion as the reason for his departure, but it came amidst allegations against Whedon of abusive behavior and misconduct on the set of Justice League and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Nevers was poised to be Whedon's triumphant return to the small screen, the first series he would have helmed since Dollhouse, 2009-2010. For nearly a decade, Whedon's focus has been on feature films, including writing and directing The Avengers and The Avengers, Age of Ultron. In addition to revising the screenplay for Justice League, he also took over directing duties when Zack Snyder left the project for personal reasons. I killed the devil. All of the controversy surrounding Joss Whedon has cast a pall over the Nevers, and despite HBO hiring Philippa Gosselet as the new showrunner, the series can't escape its creator's shadow.